I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. Good morning. Hello. Oh my gosh. I feel like I look so swollen and big in the face now. Ooh. My girl just woke up. We had some coffee. We we're planning our day because we have a lot to get done today. We have some campaigns to do. And my sister's coming over in a little bit. And then Nick comes back from his work trip tomorrow night. Gotta pick him up then. But until then, we have some things to do. We're going up north this weekend. Your girl's just tired. That's all I know. I'm just tired. Currently, 34 weeks pregnant. I'll be 35 in a couple days. She's been acting up ever since Nick has not been here. But the place is a mess. Basically because, um... I've been trying to nest and do laundry. And it hasn't been that easy being this pregnant and trying to do things. I get out of breath easily. I'm tired. After doing a couple loads of laundry, I'm done. Let me just show you what we're working with. So a lot of new things have happened recently. We got this dresser. This will be her dresser, but also we might use some of the space in it. So far, I did her newborn clothes and some swaddles. So like these are all onesies. And then here are some swaddles. And that's pretty much all I've done. Everything else is kind of just scattered about and in the other room we ended up getting the hatch machine sound machine so that's great been using that already got her little diaper changing area but otherwise everything else is a mess so we're just i'm just trying to figure this out slowly so while we're in this nesting process we'll eventually wash the bottles wash my pumping parts organize the baby den some more figure that out see where all her other clothes should go and so far this is what uh, the baby den is looking like. I need some work. We did hang those up. These are really cool. We got Turks and Caicos, Santa Barbara, Carp. This is my little desk area. This is her little bookshelf thing, which eventually <laughs> I'll fix. But yeah, for now, in the meantime, just gonna do some content, try to get that out of the way, finish all the campaigns, and then we can start organizing. All right, little quick update. I just finished making one TikTok. <laughs> But I ended up taking pictures, so I was supposed to do a photo shoot today with my sister, but that is not working out. So I ended up just taking some photos, and I tried doing this like silhouette photo that I really wanted to do while I have the energy to do it. And I think I heard the Amazon or mailman, whatever, drop something off, so I think something's here, and we should go check. And then we'll start on the campaign stuff. I told you how we were going up north. Well, we're going up north for 4th of July. Um, everyone up there, like, they do a theme every weekend. So the theme is extra 4th of July. And because I'm extra and I like celebrating things and themes and stuff like that, I had to get it. So I got this from Amazon. And it's a, just a tank top. It says dibs, you know, America. And then... We got this one from Amazon too. It's from the same company, Tipsy Elves. My phone in here, whatever. I just thought it would be cute to wear and it comes with like a little cup holder. I hope this fits because it's so hard to choose things with a belly but I think this is long enough that it'll work. Okay, so update, I changed and we are in the comfy clothes. Uh, I already did my tequila campaign and now we're doing a little unboxing. This is 10 prenatal and they sent a little a little card to go with that. I love little personalized cards like that. So this is the 10 prenatal as nature intended. So basically it's your prenatal in a granola of our form, which is kind of cool. Here's the info if you want to see. And I'm excited to try them out. Oh, these are so cute. Look at that. Daily prenatal vitamin bar. And I haven't had my prenatals today yet. So, we gonna try it out a little bit later. This is peanut butter, chocolate, lemon berry, chocolate sea salt. That sounds so good. Awesome. Thank you, Ten. I'm so excited to try it and we'll see how it goes. So, let's do a quick little unboxing. I got Another package from Love Every, so we're gonna go ahead and open that. This one is the play kit for nine to 10 month old kids, and it's called the Explorer. I'm excited, we have one more month left. 
or less until baby girl's here. So nine to ten months. The baby girl already got a lot of toys. So I'm very excited for her to play with all this stuff. Let's see what we got. Stainless steel tip and turn. Oh, this thing. So you can put up the little ball in here and it just turns around. You got the Montessori egg cup, which is this. And a little cup, and then you put water in here and water comes out. She can play with this in the bathtub. Um, nice, nice, nice. Oh, she got her first set of blocks. Look at little blocks. Kekos is looking at me right now and I bet she wants all these toys. This is cute. I like this. I'm super excited and I'm so thankful that Love Every has sent me all these play kits because honestly, we didn't get that many toys during our baby showers, which is fine. But I just like how all these toys have a purpose. Hello, good morning. It's another day, another vlog. Your girl is 36 weeks pregnant. Here's the bump. She bumping real good. So we are in our nesting era. We have four more weeks until baby girl's here. I am out of breath. I am ready for her to be here. We've been having Braxton Hicks contractions more often than I would like. So let's go ahead, start nesting and and then I'll show you an updated tour of like the house, nursery den, all that kind of stuff. But today we are going to clean the car, get that ready because we got to put the car seat in. I ordered the, this other car seat seat protector from Amazon. We got to put the baby mirror in. But we'll put that in in a little bit because the car is going to the shop tomorrow. So I just want to clean that, get it ready, have it go to the shop. Then when it comes back, eventually we'll put the car seat in when we're getting closer. Keiko's. It's also been a little feisty today. So this is the before. It's not too dirty. Just a little sandy there because we went up north and I just want to clean that and make sure everything looks good. And then there's really not much in the back either. I cleaned all of this before we moved out to California, but obviously baby's going to be sitting here. So I just want to make sure it's spiffy clean. And then the back looks fine too. It's just some little things that need to be dusted and vacuumed. I did change my shirt though because I did not want to get sweaty in the other one, but let's go ahead and get started. So it's raining and after cleaning the car and editing some videos for TikTok and Instagram, I got really really tired so we're gonna continue this vlog tomorrow it's probably gonna rain tomorrow too but i will have more energy so tonight roll right now i'm just gonna rest and i'll see you guys tomorrow hello i'm back <laughs> it's the next day um i'm feeling a lot better a lot more refreshed uh got up got the mail got some of my amazon packages we'll have more amazon packages a little bit later um but let me do there's the biggest spider on the ground. Hold on, let me get my vacuum. Someone tell me why my cat didn't get that spider. That was such a big spider and I had to vacuum that up. Gross. So let me give you a quick little tour so far of what the baby area looks like, the baby den, all that kind of stuff. Later today we'll pack my hospital bag, get that done, and then we'll see what else we get into if we get into it, if I'm not too tired. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is... The baby's dresser my parents got me this dresser um for her so right here we got the hatch love that you can um turn the light on Ooh. and you can do it by your phone too and it plays um basically it's a sound machine we got that from nick's parents and then i have this little log here where i can write down keep track of her diaper changes her feedings and all that kind of stuff I think that's very cute. You can get this on Etsy if you'd like. We got her little changing pad here. And then, so all this side is hers and including that top one. And then those two are Nick's because he just needed to use it. <laughs> you open this one. This is all her newborn stuff. We got the sleepers. We got the onesies. Some pants are back here to go with the onesies. We got her little hand gloves. Got her socks back here. 
all the bibs, hats, and then we got some of her bows and clips right here. And then, as you keep going down, there's more clothes, but these will like transition up here once she can't fit into her newborn. So this is like three, a year to three months, three to six months, and then there's more like three to six, six to nine, and then as you get back here, these are like the older ones, and then some clothes for the winter. Um, she's just not going to wear these right now, and I don't want to organize them. So eventually, it'll move up. Then when she gets older, she'll move into her own bedroom, and we'll be, we'll be able to hang up her clothes. Then on this side, you have all her diapers, her wipes. We got a lot of wipes. We got these trash bags here that go with this simple human trash bag that I got from TJ Maxx. We got her other nose stuff, some binkies, and... A lot of other stuff that I need to still organize, so I'll show you guys that eventually. And I got these dividers from Amazon. They work wonders. Got some of her sleep sacks and her swaddles all here in a blanket. And that's what that is looking like so far. You go here. This will be fixed better later. <laughs> um, but basically, this is the bassinet that we're going to use for her. This is the Uppa Baby bassinet. These are my pregnancy pillows. But this is the Uppa Baby bassinet. We're gonna move this closer to my bedside. Under there, this is my breastfeeding stuff. So yeah, that's that breastfeeding pillow boppy right there. And then right here, we have the Hello Baby monitor. So once we move this, that can watch her. We have the monitor that can watch her from anywhere, really. And if you are pregnant, or will be pregnant, thinking about getting pregnant, whatever, this is my bedside table. This is everything you probably will need at some point. Tums for heartburn. I got these for prenatals. These for iron. A big water bottle. Chapstick. We got a little bit of lavender oil just in case I can't sleep. And some magnesium lotion. This is gold. When you got restless legs, achy legs, achy hands. Love it. But yeah, that's what's in our bedroom for now. And then, this is the baby den. It, it's almost done. So ignore my yoga mat. I've been doing stretches and stuff. So we have little Keikos' tree right there. This is her play gym, and then the boppy for her to sit down right there. But we'll move this out right here when she's laying in it and playing with it, but for now it's there. Usually there's toys on it, but I didn't want toys to be on it because this little thing would probably, exactly, would probably mess it up. So we're just leaving it there for now. Got my little workstation so I can watch baby while I'm working on content. This here is the baby monitor that I told you about. Got the baby delight bouncer. This is her whole little stuff. This has to go up there. I think that'd be kind of cute. Salt rock lamp to give it a vibe. She got her little toys there and her books. And then in each of these bins, this is her zero to three month toys. Her toys for the play gym. This is more toys and stuff that I need to clean up and just see what we got going on. And like, she won't need that right now, so we're just leaving it in here. Here we got her carrier and the Tush Baby carrier. And here we got some bows. And then we got a blanket that we can use with her at any time. And then here we got more sleep sacks and swaddles, but that's for when she's older. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I just finished eating lunch and guess what came in the mail? The stroller! I'm so excited. So we're gonna set it up and I'm also gonna make a TikTok about it. So if you want, you can follow my TikTok and see the unboxing there. Otherwise, I'm just gonna show it to you guys when it's done. All right, there's the stroller. We got the Mockingbird stroller and she's all done. We just gotta get the car seat adapter for the um, Eppa baby and then it should be able to go on here. But otherwise, she good to go. So. Let's pack my hospital bag now that most of everything is done. Also, that's Keiko's in the back. It's not a creepy cat, it's Keiko's. This is the bag that I will be taking. It has a little pouch underneath that attaches. This is from Base. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure, but I'll link it below. In case you guys want, it's the Weekender bag and it's like super, super big. I used to use it as my work bag at first, but I ain't working. So, <laughs> we're just using it as my diaper bag and actually I don't know if I'll use this as a diaper bag it's kind of big but we'll see but we're using this as my hospital bag for now carry on all that kind of good stuff so first of all we got my birth plan there's just other things in this folder extra long phone charger little travel size cube got some mint taste you need a mint never know we got my 
Harry bottle. I know they say the hospital gives you one, but I got this one from Freedom Mom just because I heard it works better. We got a small thing of Vicks just so I can smell it. I love the smell of Vicks and I heard someone say that when they were in labor and every time they had a contraction, they would smell Vicks and it would help them get through the contraction. So that's what we're gonna do. I got my Polaroid camera. We got my glasses, got my toiletries bag. And in this bag, we got nipple butter, deodorant, shampoo and conditioner, mouthwash, lotion, comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little bit of lip balm, magnesium oil, hair ties, floss, and then I have to put, um, I have to go get it, belly oil. Then I think we should be, that should be good to go for toiletries. Oh, tired. Then got a little fan. I have kindred Bravely nursing bra. I have my labor robe. If you haven't seen what it looks like, it's on my TikTok. My going home outfit, which is just a dress. The nursing dress, so you can lift this part up and nurse if you need to. Then I got a pair of flip flops, which I can wear these in the shower because I heard the showers at the hospital are no bueno. And then I got two nursing pads. Don't know if I'll actually need them, but just in case. A little laundry bag for dirty clothes and Nick will bring one too. Then I'm gonna take my nursing pillow. We can leave that in the car. I'm thinking of getting silverettes, but I just need to make sure I get the right size before I order them. And then I need to add some socks some underwear and then I'm gonna bring two always disposable underwear or diapers whatever you want to call them I know they say the hospital gives you um, like mesh undies but if these are more comfortable I would rather wear these than those so so that's all for my stuff moving on to baby stuff we got her clothes and her stuff right here so I won't show exactly because I want to keep the outfit a surprise but I have a swaddle, I have a pair of socks, two different types of bows, and then I have a sleeper, and then I have her actual going home outfit. If her going home outfit doesn't fit her for some reason, it's not it, we'll just use the sleeper. It is what it is. Hopefully it fits because her going home outfit is really, really cute. And then we also got some baby aquaphor. Pretty much it for my hospital bag. Also gonna be bringing this water bottle. And then Nick is gonna be bringing some snacks and his change of clothes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I gave him a list, but his list is not that much. So this is it. This is all I'm gonna bring. I didn't want to overpack because I hear the hospital already gives you a lot of things and you can take things home. I want to take things home and have room to do so because I'm Filipino and I love free things. But yeah, so that's it and we should be ready and good to go.